Hello everyone, my name is Ray. Thank you for visiting my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. In my previous video that you can see a link to in the upper right, there I discussed the difference between a mounted bearing and a sleeve bearing, a bronze bushing or bronze bearing. What I'd like to discuss today is what is actually inside these bearings? What makes them so special? What is happening inside here? There's a video playing to your left of my of my the headstock on my lathe. And you can see that there are pillow block bearings on that lathe that are about twice this size. I've got the, the stuff that's inside here. I've got a sample of that right here in this box, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're in my home shop today taking a look at these uh, larger scale pillow block bearings. This bearing is basically identical to the bearing I showed you earlier in the video and the one on my blue lathe. If you're curious about my blue lathe, there'll be a link into the upper right that you can uh, view that uh, when this video is over. Uh, the reason this is called a self-aligning bearing is you can see here I can actually move the inner race. It has uh, not a lot of movement, some movement. Uh, this amount of movement affords me uh, some forgiveness in the alignment of the spindle uh, assembly uh, on the lathe. Uh, you'll see a build, this is an ongoing build, you'll see uh, this bearing show up again. Uh, so the, the, the alignment between the front bearing and the rear bearing uh, is not that precise and it doesn't have to be that precise, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this amount of alignment allows you a little forgiveness in that alignment. So uh, to see what is actually inside here, this mechanism inside that bearing, uh, it's actually surprisingly simple. Uh, what we have here is, this is an insert for the bearing on my lathe. This is actually the same as this portion right here, without the, the, the cast iron mounting or the locking um, the locking rings or any of the any of the uh, shields. So what we have is this is the locking collar as you can see right there. We have an inner race similar to this inner race and we have two outer races. This is an outer race and this is an outer race. Now these these outer races are actually located inside the bearing like this. There's one in the front, one in the back and they actually sandwich the entire assembly captivating the uh, rollers of the bearing and the inner race. So together, uh, uh, it allows you to, you can see there, uh, um, adjust the alignment of the bearing so that the housing does not have to be perfectly square to the, uh, to the shaft uh, the, of your lathe, the spindle of your lathe. So what makes these interesting is that the, the inside surface of the race, and you might be able to see that there, is actually radius. This is a curved surface. Uh, both races are identical, doesn't matter where they are. And you can see here that the rollers, these are not balls, these are actually rollers, and they're, they're uh, shaped like cylinders for the exception that the surface of these rollers are actually concaved. And that concave surface matches the radius surface of the inner race, and it actually matches the radius surface, the spherical surface, of the inner race. Um, that inner race, you probably cannot see it very well, but it has a, a ball type shape, a sphere shape, that these bearings um, match. So together, they are held in place between the races. Um, it affords great uh, performance characteristics and it allows you the um, opportunity for a, a slight misalignment and that you don't need to worry about this. If you have this slightly misaligned, uh, these surfaces uh, ensure that, these, that the bearing isn't damaged and it can uh, perform just as well if it's uh, perfectly perpendicular or slightly askew from one side to the other. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that clears up what a roller bearing is, in this particular case, a double roller bearing. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. And uh, as always, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.